Alright, in this lesson we're going to do a shot overview of what we're going to do with the shot. This shot was uh, taken with a Canon 5D with a wide angle lens, so um, there's a lot of things we can see and um, as you can see this shot is it's a simple shot but um, there is a lot of shake so that will make the solve really hard to do. So we're going to do a solid track. So um, before I'm going to shoot uh, a shot, is I already know what I'm going to sh uh, what I'm going to do with it. Um, I, I wanted to make an epic war field with a robot and a lot of um, fire, smoke, um, sky replacement, set extensions, um, um, a lot of um, damage on the building, and uh, just to make it shot really in interesting. Um, in all of these lessons, we're mainly going to use Nuke um, because I just wanted to show you all like what you can do in Nuke only. You don't have to switch around uh, between uh, like another uh, program like Synthize or Buju. Like you can do a lot of stuff in Nuke. Of course, Nuke um, is not that great. I mean, I'm talking about uh, the camera tracker. Um, is not so great as uh, Buju or Synthize, but um, if you know how to use it well, you can do a lot of stuff in, in, in Nuke. Um, <coughs> um, we're gonna use Nuke X um, because there the camera tracker is only in Nuke X, so please start it up. Um, I've loaded up already uh, the scene. Um, it's a movie file, but I trimmed the clip and the trim clip you can find in the folder called raw 1080p so make sure you set your color space to sRGB and also in here in your LUT and so this is the this is the shot where what we're gonna work on uh, make sure you set your um, settings correctly um, I'm working on 25 frames a second because I'm from Europe and that's what we use over here. I know in the States they're using 24, but bear with me. Um, yes, we're gonna use 19, 20, 1080. Yep, so everything is set correctly. The frame range is from 0 to 148, so let's type it in here. So this is what we're going to use. We got some nice foreground element over here that will make the shot really realistic. And as you can see, there's a lot of shake, so let's fix that. So in this lesson, we did a shot overview of what we're gonna do with the shot, and in the next lesson, we're gonna start the camera trick.